episode of my crazy crossroads and we are at uh, we're in New York and this is our second video for the day and we're at um, Mount Misery Road this place is nuts we we couldn't even get our cameras turned on and we're already hearing things it's Kate back there by the way yes. and Kate's freaking out because she's seeing things hearing things it's just nuts things all around me right now Big Joey C, Rob, Urban Ghosts, Urban Explorations. Guys, I'm going to do this real quick. So uh, this place is really, really crazy. Again, this is go. the end of the road, end of Mount Misery Road. <clears throat> and this place is friggin' freaky already. So we're going to probably head into the woods here in a little bit. But off to this side already, to the right. You don't even know how dark it is. It's so dark. I'm going to shut the light off when we get started just so you can see. But it's just... Crazy! All right, check this out. Check this out. All right, they got their lights going, but what was that? What was that? It was like a howl. Yeah. What the fuck is going on with this place? You heard that? I keep hearing the same thing. See, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think that's a train. No, that's not a train. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what the <laughs> fuck? What was that? What the fuck is going? Is that you? That was not me. That was not her. That was over there somewhere. Guys, look, there's a cat here. What the fuck? That's over here. Man. I'm going to have to use some of your flashlight because I'm completely dark. What, what? what is it? What was that? Something keeps going. Mm -hmm. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something over here. Now, there's a chance it could be a deer, but that was, that, I don't see anything, Rob. But if that was a deer, it wouldn't have just been one solid crack, crash. Wow, dude. Oh 
best of ideas. I don't know what's going down What? That was right there. That was like right there. There is something down there. 100%. I wonder what this is. Guys, this is uh, this is weird back here. Now, sorry, I got my hood on because there's a ton of mosquitoes out here too, and it looks funny. Look like uh, Assassin's Creed, but um, there could be animals out here, guys. We're in deep in the woods here, so um, there's a lot of uh, voices and crashes. I don't know. I'm confused. But, let's keep it going. This is awesome. really strange. I shouldn't be walking back here, <laughs> but <sighs> okay. Oh. Let's go. Let's go up without this light. And over there. I don't know if it's in this house. Maybe the kitchen maybe?
I'm hearing a lot of like little bangs and stuff. No, it could be stuff falling out of the trees. I mean, that happens all the time. For a second. Sorry, guys, I had to cut off and start it over. Does it mean that you get so really confused? Oh my god. Confused? No, no not, com keep, not confused. I was coming in here and I kept thinking about horses for some reason. <clears throat> like this was horse stables, but I don't think there's anything that indicates these are horse stables. Not unless they're mini horses. Right. No, I'm not confused, Joe. I, I, Feel, definitely feel uneasy. I'm glad there's paths here though. We gotta be careful. Let's hold on one second. Let's get our bearings. Shine the light over here. So this is um, we're gonna go past these little mini stables here and go to the right. Okay, that's where we came in. All right, we just don't want to get lost out of here, man. Hear that? Uh, it's something falling. Just it could be just branches. Yeah. That we're, stuff don't don't. Itself. You're okay. Yeah, that that's just stuff falling. Did it just get really cold? Yep. Yeah, it did. It really did. It's awesome. <laughs> temperature drop 10 degrees. So
does it come from humming? Yeah, let's do it right here. Stay on the path so we're safe, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna stay right on this path here and do a quick lights out, guys. Alright, so we're gonna try lights out. I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna keep hearing stuff. Now, is it paranormal? Don't know. <laughs> what I do know is it's freaky being back here. And uh, I think I heard voices, so we'll see. <laughs> now we're doing lights out. Is it really cool with lights out? Yeah. As long as I don't see where we came from. Okay. Oh, just yeah, just stand this way. I think we felt the lights out. Over here in the back. Go, 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 there's something right there. There's something out there. right there. Holy God. Stay, stay. Yep, right here. Tell me. Stay, stay back there for a second. There's something there. It was it was just it was moving just a little bit and then all of a sudden it jumped out. <clears throat> Whoa, what the it's like drawing. Right over here. Wait a second. Oh. Right over here. It's 
place is no joke. I think what's, what's really weird is like, I don't understand why we keep hearing a wolf. Yeah, there she is. <clears throat> Are you serious? Listen. Sounds like she's saying feel. All right. Huh? Weird. You know, guys, we're getting deeper in this. I know. We gotta be careful too. Did you hear? She said, "I'm here" or something, right? I heard "feel me" or "feeling." Something feel. I don't know, it's like I don't even know which way to go. No, it just feels like, you, you know, sometimes you just feel like you should go in one direction. This feels like, uh, feels like everything's around. All right, so wait till wait till we hear this back, guys. This is just insane. All the noises and stuff could be, you know, things falling. So we're in the woods. Shadows. Yeah, could just be lights. The moon is pretty heavy tonight. I don't know, but these voices are nuts. This is going to be a good one. There's another one. Okay. So we definitely have heard <clears throat> female voice for sure. Um, I'd say I, I think predominantly I think we female. all did hear that. You guys so, heard female, right? Yeah. A younger female. Yeah, so. So, let's see what we can do. Maybe we tell her a story. And so, see. my campfire story, and I'll share it. I'm sharing <clears throat> with this camera and this camera and that camera and that camera. So, I'm kind of like moving all around. So, my campfire story would be when I was a kid, and I was like, I don't know, maybe 15 years old, and I had my good buddy Paul up in, I actually, on Long Island here where we are right now. And what happened was, is we used to, at that time, we used to have sleepovers at each other's house. And um, his neighborhood was here, and my neighborhood was on the other side of, of town. And the, there's two ways to get to each other's house. One is you could walk all through the outskirts of the neighborhood and walk about three miles and get to his house. Or you could actually walk through the woods. And... In, on Long Island especially, there's a lot of brush fires, so the fire departments, what they would do is when there's a big area of woods, they would actually take, uh, they'd make these fire lanes to there in case they needed to get fire trucks back there so they can actually go ahead and put out fires. So anyway, <clears throat> when we were kids, we, we had a sleepovers at my friend Paul's house, and in the middle of the night, we decided, hey, you know, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to walk over to 7-Eleven where all the cool kids hang out, you know, and... Um, so we left his house, and to get to my side of the of town, we walked through the woods. And when you come on the outskirts of the woods, there's a service road that runs uh, uh, parallel to the highway. And we walked all the way to 7-Eleven. I thought it was so cool. It was like 11 o'clock at night. We were trying to be cool and hang out with these other kids. And, um, you know, we snuck out of his parents' house. We were supposed to be sleeping. Anyway, on the way back, we're walking down the service road, and now at the end of the service road is where the woods start with this fire lane that goes between the two neighborhoods. And we're walking, and this lady all of a sudden, like, comes walking behind us. Are you guys freaking out? 
You good? All right, so this lady comes walking out, and she's got a little bundle in her arms like a baby. And, you know, we're, we're like 15 years old, so to us, this woman seems just like, you know, she seems like she's really old. She's probably in her early to mid-20s. This freaky noise is going on. So anyway, um, she's walking and she starts talking to us. And I think she really probably wanted us to like give her money or something, you know. And I remember thinking to myself, and, and my friend Paul were thinking, this baby's like really silent, not crying or anything, you know. And um, she's walking with us and she seemed prematurely debauched, you know. She seemed like she like had a hard life and she was so young. Again, we were a lot younger, of course. Anyway, we're getting to the end of this of this service road, and it's 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 probably like 12:30 at night, and we're thinking she's gonna turn towards the neighborhood, but she comes into the woods with us, and she's holding this infant, and my friend Paul is joking around me, and he goes, "Hey Joe, the baby never cried," and I remember we started laughing, and we ran because we were kids, and we were running, and as we, as you run into the middle of this path it's about maybe a half mile long it gets lower and lower until you start coming out to the end but we could see her in the moonlight behind us still holding this this possible baby anyway we get back to my friend Paul's house and we're laughing and we're like oh that lady was crazy she really scared us you know <clears throat> but we were just kids and shit <laughs> what is that so anyway um through all this, what had happened was, like, a year goes by, and my friend Paul calls me one day and goes, "Hey, you gotta, you gotta come over here." There's all kinds of noises in the woods, and my friend Paul's like, "Hey, you know, we really need to, uh, you know, we need to talk." And I'm like, "What?" He's like, "I gotta show you something." So I go to his house, and he opens up the newspaper, and in the paper is a picture of that very woman that we saw that night. They found her in those woods decapitated what and they she was a missing girl and they never ever found her baby true story guys now we're going to these woods <laughs> and we're gonna go there probably in the next well probably tomorrow night and what the hell was that and then a gunshot did you hear that yeah I can't get this light to work I got it, Joe. So that was really weird. So we're sitting here, and like all of a sudden, you're like, all right, that's pretty cool. I like that story. That's freaky. And I'm excited to go, Joe. There's gunshots. Let's head back. Want to head back this way? Here you go, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I think people are just shoot random people. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. That was distress for sure.
So for a, God, box. All right, so for a second, I just thought it was more voices, but back over here, just took a minute to register with me. We heard what sounded like a gunshot, but it sounded like it was far off the distance. And that noise was so loud that once it registered, it sounded like somebody might have been in distress. So, and there, there could be people here, guys. This is a campground, so. I don't know. Just took, took a minute. It took, at first I just thought it was another noise and then I was, it sounded like somebody might have been in distress. <sighs> but we don't know, we don't know if there's another campground over there too. Careful. What? Joe, was that you? Oh my god. It could have been something that fell out of a tree. Was that stick there before? I don't know. There? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. See, that might have fell out of the tree and hit the... Yeah, why would it rain before? fall? It was so loud. Uh, they do. They... It must have... Something must have fell and, and hit here, but... It's probably just a <clears throat> It would have had to have fallen from that tree. Wow. I was... Why would I have something big like that fall? Oh, look, well, look. Look around everywhere. There's, you know, there's branches everywhere. Here's another one. Yeah, you're right. You know, so they fall. Yeah. My camera's getting blurry again. <clears throat> Alright, guys. We're going to make our way back. Why is my camera so blurry? This is this is scary. Yeah. This is a scary one. I didn't even know this was horse track. Yeah. This is a good one for you, Kate. This is definitely a scary one. So people travel like us from all over the country to come to this this road, Mount Misery Road. What a perfect name too. And attached to the woods is this campsite. And uh, I can see why. I can see why people uh, come from all around to see this place because it's, it's crazy. It's creepy. Scary. Can you imagine if we didn't have that bright moon tonight? You hear that? Oh, there is a lot of a lot of voices.
all over the place. You hear it? The best part is that we're not stuck in the house. Yeah. And we can get out. Right. <sighs> and these places to run. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut off one more time. We're back. I just got a crazy chill. Right here. Did you hear a girl again? Over here. I heard this direction. I thought it was a thing. Right here. It's hard to tell anyway. Yeah. Right here. Where am I? That's what. Purposely being real quiet, guys. I can't wait for us all to hear. This is just madness. All right, so now there, there is a real calm breeze. Maybe the the wind blowing is making some noises that sound like something, but huh, it's everywhere. Everywhere.
feel like there's something here. What? You okay? Yeah. I don't know. What's wrong? Right. What's wrong? Joe. Joe! I don't think he's actually. He's not. He's not. He's not. I think if you just do this, we'll be fine. Joe! Yeah. Come on, we're going back this way. No, this is. I, we're fine. I'm, I'm totally fine. I just want to see what's down here. I think this leads right out. Anyway. I know it's cold and this is scary. And this is where the noises are coming from. You want to do it? The noises are coming from really everywhere, nice. brother. Yeah, we're well, yeah, gonna freaking uh, your camera light battery's probably getting, it's gonna get low. Yeah, my uh, yeah my my light's almost dead. Yeah, this is fine. It's freezing back here. It is. I just don't want to go back to it. There it is. Back here. Yeah, Joe, I don't want to venture too far because my light's almost dead, bud. Too. I think if we go left, it goes right back to it. Oh, do you? Uh, possibly. Po there's a possibility, yeah. This will be the way back. No, we're good. Right up here. Dude. Look at me. I think this is... It's a, yeah, it's fine. Seriously, I'm totally fine. I just wanted to see this. Oh, man, I'm hurting. <laughs> I've reached my maximum walking, Joe. Yeah, this has to go back out. Yeah, we're good. We're right up to the right. This is like a maze. This is different. This yeah, is see, that's up on the hill. This way. Okay. It's absolutely freezing back here. We're on the wrong side. We gotta go this way. Yep. This way. Look. It's gone. This way. Straight up. Oh, look. Hey, keep your leg. Oh, look at this. Damn. This is a damn creature. This is the road? Yeah. Are you sure? Because this yeah. looks exactly like the other Left, Joe. Joe, this way. Right up here. Sorry guys, I'm kind of walking pretty fast here because my legs are done. This way guys, this way. 
And my light's almost out. Back this way. Yeah. Come here, listen. Listen to my car. Yep. No, I know we're in the right direction. back to the car. Hope you guys are enjoying our New York videos. Um, it's been fun so far. We got a few more to do. Um, we have one more day to, day to do them in and uh, it's exciting. This place was really awesome. My cousin Billy uh, sent me a message about this place and when I uh, presented it to Joe he already knew about it because he was already here. But man, it's living up to its expectations, that's for sure. So guys, please subscribe, like, comment, share, check out all the merchandise, all the good stuff down below. And uh, I'll see you next time. Love you all, peace. <laughs>